Growing organisations that manage more than one business are continually confronted with the challenge of sharing data over their group of companies. As a business grows with additional branches and companies, it is vital to have strong business controls and standardised processes to achieve business objectives. Let's show you how the Intercompany Integration Solution for SAP Business One seamlessly integrates operations between companies and branches for better visibility over the group. OEC Computers have a number of affiliated branches across Germany with headquarters in Berlin. Jason Butler from OEC Frankfurt branch receives a sales order from his customer PC Trade Incorporated. However, there is not enough stock to fulfill the order on hand. Jason is able to review a global stock report and sees that the OEC branch in Munich has enough stock on hand and in turn triggers an intercompany trade process to purchase the additional stock to fulfil the sales order. Let's see how this process works using intercompany integration for SAP Business One. Firstly, Jason navigates to the sales menu and then opens up a sales order. Jason would like to create a sales order for customer PC Trade Incorporated. The customer would like to order 1500 Bluetooth optical mouse devices. This actually triggers an item availability check and as we can see there is only 655 units that are available at the OEC Frankfurt branch. Jason would now like to view the inventory in warehouse report across all branches and he can do this by clicking on item description. We're now presented with a list of actions or information that we can instantly navigate to. There are two additional reports that are available with the Intercompany Integration Solution, Consolidated Balances by Business Partner and Branch Inventory and Warehouse. Let's have a look at the Branch Inventory and Warehouse report. We would like to actually review what Bluetooth optical devices are available across all branches. So let, let's select our relevant code for Bluetooth optical devices. and we're going to run this report across all branches and we want to review a detailed summary report. We are now presented with a detailed global stock report for all Bluetooth optical devices across all branch warehouses. Branch 1 represents OEC Frankfurt. Branch 2 represents OEC in Munich and then there's the head office branch which is based in Berlin. So from this report we can actually see that there is enough devices in OEC Munich to fulfill this shortfall. So Jason can now add the sales order to the system. A consolidated credit limit check has also been triggered for this customer. The intercompany solution allows you to define a consolidated credit limit check across all OEC branches, giving you greater visibility and control over customer credit scenarios. In this case, Jason has the authority to accept the exceeded consolidated credit limit notification and proceeds with the sales order. Jason is now able to create a purchase order for the OEC Munich branch to make up the shortfall in stock items. To do this, Jason navigates to the purchasing menu and opens up a purchase order. In this case, the vendor is OEC Munich. Affiliated companies are also listed as business partners in SAP Business One. Now we're going to select the item 
Bluetooth optical mouse. And we are immediately displayed with a quantity of 845, which is actually the shortfall amount that is needed to fulfill the original sales order. So let's actually check the branch inventory and warehouse report again. We can see that in branch one, which is OEC Frankfurt, we have a negative availability, which means we have overcommitted stock based on what is in stock, what has been committed, and what is currently on order. So we're actually going to order a few extra devices in the event of any future sales orders before replenishing stock. And now we can add the purchase order to the system. Let's now navigate back to the purchase order and review the intercompany tab. Here we can see the branch details and the document status which is pending approval from OEC Munich. By creating this purchase order the intercompany integration solution will automatically create a draft sales order in the OEC Munich system. We are now logged in as Bob Schoen from OEC Munich. Bob checks the daily sales reports and actually receives an alert listing any documents that are still in draft and needing approval. So let's review the latest alert that he's just received. Bob can see that he's received a sales order from OEC Frankfurt for a thousand Bluetooth optical mouse devices. So Bob now navigates to the intercompany tab and changes the document status from pending to accept and now adds the sales order to the system. If we navigate back to the sales order we can see now that by selecting the intercompany tab, the document status has changed to accept and the sales order has now been confirmed. Once the sales order has been accepted, Bob can now create an AR invoice for these items. We can see that the business partner is OEC Frankfurt and if we navigate to the intercompany tab, the status of the AR invoice is also pending. As a result of this AR invoice, the intercompany integration solution will automatically create a draft AP invoice in the OEC Frankfurt system for approval. So let's now add the AR invoice to the system. Back at OEC Computers in Frankfurt, Jason Butler would like to review the status of his purchase order to OEC Munich. To do this, he navigates to the Purchasing menu and selects Purchase Order and brings up the last purchase order that he created. By navigating to the Intercompany tab, Jason can see that the purchase order has been accepted and confirmed by OEC Munich. If we now navigate under Purchasing Reports, and we review the Documents Drafts report, we can see that there is a draft AP invoice which has automatically been created and is listed in the system awaiting approval.
we can now see there is an AP invoice draft from OEC Munich and we can accept this AP invoice by simply going to the Intercompany tab and changing the document status from pending to accept. And now we can add the AP invoice to the system. If we navigate back to the AP invoice and then we review the Intercompany tab, firstly we can see that the AP invoice is no longer in draft and the document status has been accepted and is now confirmed in the system. If we now navigate back to the original sales order that we created for PC Trade Incorporated, we can now see that there is enough Bluetooth optical mouse devices in stock to fulfill the order. So now we can go ahead and create a delivery for these items and a corresponding invoice for the customer. And now we can add the AI invoice to the system. Back at OEC Computers in Munich, Bob can see that when he opens up the related AR invoice that he created for OEC Frankfurt, and by navigating to the Intercompany tab, he can see that the AI invoice, which produced a corresponding AP invoice in OEC Frankfurt, was accepted and now has been confirmed. So whether you are a group of companies, a head office with multiple branches, a franchise group, or even a buying group, the Intercompany integration solution for SAP Business One simplifies accounting and supply chain management processes across the organization. Information is electronically transferred between entities, streamlining everyday business processes.